Syntax. Well, not the most exciting subject, right? Let's try to pick out the key things to remember. By far the most important is this. If it starts with a capital letter, it's a variable. No small letters for variables. So this is not a variable. It doesn't start with a capital. What is it? It's a constant. There are all kinds of constants, just make sure you don't use brackets, because brackets are used in Prolog for writing things that look like functions. This is one of Prolog's ways of making output. There are no functions in Prolog, so that is a compound term. So there you go. If it starts with a capital, it's a variable. If it's got brackets, it's a compound term. Otherwise, it's a constant. If it was all that simple, I might not make this video. But Prolog is a programming language, so it helps if you can do maths. Constants can only be atoms and numbers, so this has to be a compound term like that. Another nice thing if you're programming is some way to handle data. For that, Prolog has lists. The square brackets are just for lists. Like maths expressions, that guy can be squeezed into a compound term, but the results are not pretty. You'll never actually write a list like that yourself, but it helps to see it once. See those last two square brackets? That's an empty list. To fit that into Prolog, you have to treat it specially as a constant. Let's do a summary. Capital letters, variables. There are some special ones that start with an underscore, including the anonymous variable. Round brackets, compound term, including maths operators and lists. Otherwise, constant, including the empty list. Together, all those are called terms. A couple more points. When you're writing compound terms, you can't use variable names, so this is okay, but this is not. And you can't leave arguments empty. Finally, you can't have a space between the name and the brackets. That's mostly what you'll need in practice. There's lots of small wrinkles that teachers, including me, like to use on tests. Just smile and write your programs.